what was it like? I just heard in the locker room singing Brave Old Army team. What is that like, that experience for you? Uh, it just feels great. Um, I always see Los Angeles person that leads that chant is the player of the game. So I wouldn't call myself the player of the game, but I definitely think I was put in a position and I had the opportunities to make the play. When I did, it just feels overwhelming. Well, tell us a little bit. You went in uh, late in the game, but uh, you got a ball thrown right at you and you made the play and you ran uh, about 15, 20 yards. So tell us about it. Yeah, so it started off, we were in cover three. Um, number one ran a hitch. I saw number two keep going down the field. Um, reading the quarterback's shoulders, the ball, and the ball just came right to me. I was able to undercut the corner route and caught the ball. And I, I was too big. I was too happy. I caught the ball. I didn't know what to do with it afterwards. So I just got a couple of yards and got down. Just yeah. so where are you from, and why did you decide to come up to West Point? I'm from Fairfield, Ohio, down in Cincinnati. Uh, shout out everybody down there. And um, I just came to West Point. It was a great opportunity. Um, I've been playing football my whole life, and so when I realized I had a chance to play at the next level, especially at this academy, I took advantage of it. And it's a great opportunity. What comes after football and a career in the military? You just have a job right out of college, and most people can't say that. So just I get like, to yeah. Just last stretch. What is it like just to be able to work yourself out on the field? Uh, you know, after a ride, you know, getting to West Point and and getting a chance to get get out and play. It's been great, especially um, I spent a year at the prep school, so that definitely helped out. I got was able to learn the playbook and get familiarized with West Point, and then this year, I was able to just embrace what the upperclassmen have been preaching. Over the years, like follow the course, stay the course. Don't get discouraged when you're not getting as much playing time as you should. Um, I'd like to thank all the upperclassmen, especially um, and Coach Dixon for giving me the opportunity to make the play and be on the field when I was. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Go ahead, you do. Right. Hey, Jaden. Joe Icona with GoBlackKnights.com. Congratulations on the winning the interception today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, hey, so did you know going into the game um, this week in practice, I, I know, you know, all Army's players are always ready, but did you know, did you have a pretty good idea you were going to get some playing time this week? Was that kind of discussed in practice or was it kind of something that came up at the last minute? Um, it's kind of every week I plan and prepare to make sure that I'm ready when I'm able to go in the game. But this week, especially, I knew we had a chance um, playing this opponent that most people will get a chance to play. Most of the backups will be able to play. And that we'd get the better of them in the first half, which we did. And so I was ready when my number was called. Good stuff. And uh, my final question, uh, being from Fairburn, Ohio, are you uh, outside Army, obviously, or are you a Buckeye fan? Um, Neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Okay. I actually, I'm in actually Michigan in the game today. They're in a tussle today, so. Really? Yeah. yeah I had a couple of teammates up in Michigan, so. Okay. It's a close one. All right. Thanks, Jaden. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, Jaden. Ken McMillan with the Times Herald Record. How you doing, Ken? Good, thank you. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, Jaden, how would you uh, kind of rate the defense's performance these last two weeks? Those last couple weeks, we have played great. Um, UConn, we gave up. Mm -hmm. We gave up a great uh, couple plays that we could have stopped, but overall, only given up a couple real touchdowns in the last couple weeks. It's just been great. We've really been performing at our peak level, especially being um, being able to watch all the upperclassmen and all the captains on the team play their position and vocalize how they think we should all play. It's definitely helped out. Jaden, were you on the field at all during that one goal line stand? I was actually. I. Um, Broke up the pad, broke up the slant route on the fourth down. All right. That was, my, that was my first drive on the field. How did it feel to, you know, have a, a third goal line stand in two weeks? It felt great. We really um we really pushed last of the hard, last of the hard. And I feel like we proved that in the last couple of weeks for sure. And how do you carry this into Navy? Oh, this momentum is going to carry over extremely. We are we are all feeding on each other's um energy like today um we ought to feed off each other's energy and this is definitely gonna next two weeks of preparation we're gonna be riding high on this this is a great win and just get prepared to be navy yeah i know tt's on the other side of the ball but what's it like watching him guide this team the last couple of weeks and scoring three touchdowns today oh well, it's just amazing seeing what he's all done for this program and how he's developed watching him uh, before i got here he's done a really great job 
Uh, yeah, they're talking about you. They're talking about you, TT. <laughs> they're talking about you. Yeah, he's done a really great job. Um, definitely a leader on and off the field, in and out of the locker room, all over. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Jaden. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll have Ty here next. Uh, Ken Crazy will go first, and then we'll turn it over to Jim. And uh, Tiger Ken Kreitzer from Canvas Media. Uh, just uh, tell us uh, a little bit just how it felt. You're singing Brave Old Army team after the game. Uh, you got a nice win. And uh, as Connor Bishop said, playing well today would be the best preparation for Navy. So it always feels good. It feels good to win. Always feels good to celebrate and sing that song in the locker room. Uh, as well as singing the alma mater, uh, you know, it's an honor. Uh, you know, something we don't take for granted. But um, just it's, it's really good momentum. Um, but like like I said, uh, outside, there's a lot of things we need to clean up. There's a lot of things we need to, to see on film. But the preparation starts now. Um, you know, that, that's a good win. But this is the big one. Um, last year was the outcome we wanted. So um, we got a lot of things to fix, a lot of things to put in, and, and a lot of work to do. So, you know, it's a good win. Always great to sing that song in the locker room. But uh, it's, it's time to get to work. I thought you started off, uh, UMass got a good drive and a score on the board, but then you went to work and uh, 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 you got the touchdown from Jacoby on a 10-yard mm -hmm. run where I think he broke about five tackles. Mm -hmm. So um, what was the question again? Oh, just how, what was that play like? What, how did that set up when Jacoby scored the touchdown? Um, well, you know, like any any time we give Cole the ball, we know we're going to get positive yardage. But um, it always starts off a great play called by Coach Davis. He saw the way they were playing. Um, offensive line, they they plugged the holes open, but Jacoby did the rest. He always runs hard. Uh, he attacks the weight room hard. Um, that's just who he is. So, you know, whenever whenever Kobe gets the ball, you know, we're, we're getting positive yardage. So it was a great play call, great blocking, and great execution by Jacoby. And second quarter, this was one of the best quarters of your career uh, with three touchdowns scored. The first one, you got a four-yard touchdown. What, what Did something just look good to you in how the offense was running when you went out um, in the second quarter? Um, not, not really. Um, you know, the line, line always makes holes. Uh, the line always works hard, um, you know, but it just goes to Coach Davis. Um, he put us in the right positions. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of our plays look very similar, but – you know, the scheme comes from the formations and the setup. So uh, he does a great job of seeing what they're in, getting us in a good formation and running our base plays. The line blocked it off great. Um, you know, I do my best to run hard, to finish my runs, make people miss. Um, but just running the ball hard, that's all I did. And it, it goes to the line, the slot backs and receivers and, and then the B backs. They did all they did all the hard work. I just followed them. And you were two for two passing. Mm -hmm. And you had a nice 44-yard throw to Josh uh, Lingenfelter, mm -hmm. your tight end. Tell us about how that play set up. Um, so, you know, I just try to be efficient passing. Um, you know, we don't throw the ball a lot, but I do try to hit. Uh, you know, the way I run, it, it leaves um, a lot of play actions wide open. But um, it was a great call by, by coach. Um, I really don't think the – we were in a heavy set formation. I don't think the, the receiver – I mean, their safety – knew that Josh was eligible. So he just let him run right past him. And I just read my progression, just put it on him, something he could catch, and then he did the rest. Very good. And just how do you feel a uh, game like oh, – tell us about your offensive line, mm -hmm. how they performed, uh, you know, helping you get through those uh, four touchdown drives in the first half. Yeah, they play hard. Um, you know, they, they, they're they tough. They're tough. They're some of the toughest people I've been around. Um, you know, excited to see what kind of leaders they're going to be in the Army, but they're tough. Um, they they work together. They're a team, and when when you know football is full of up and downs, and things go down, they're just consistent. They they stay level headed. They don't get too down. They don't get too. They understand that football is up and down, but they they they're tough. Their toughness never, you know, that's just the biggest thing. They're tough, and they love me. Uh, they always say they're gonna protect me. Um, you know, I got their backs on and off the field. So, um, it's just their toughness. That's the biggest thing. You know. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Go ahead on Zoom. Hi, Tayer. Joe Icono with GoBlackKnights.com. Congratulations on the win today. Um, first question, you know, Ken asked a little bit about the uh, long pass to Josh Lingenfelter down the middle, and that's, you know, not the first time you and the other quarterbacks have been able to connect with him this year. Talk a little bit about what he provides to the offense, not only as a pass receiver, but also as a blocker in your running game. Yeah, so Josh is probably one of the, the – I mentioned toughness. He's probably one of the toughest dudes on um, – knockdowns we count knockdowns that's one of the things we grade um he's knocking 10 plus defenders down a week 
Um, the energy he brings uh, is is crazy. Like it's he got a little something wrong with him, you know. Like he he he's a tough dude, but um, just the energy he brings. Um, and then he's smart. He's very smart. He knows his job, and he's constantly coaching up people around him. But his just energy and his toughness are the two biggest things that that correlates to him being a, a not just a good blocker, but an overall um, good football player and person person off the field as well. Just all around good dude, and he's just tough. And then my uh, follow-up and final question, you know, you mentioned um, there's a lot of things you guys have to clean up before the big game in a couple of weeks. Um, for you personally, what's the number one thing you're looking to improve right now heading into the game in a couple of weeks? Um, just, just, mm, that's a number one thing is always taking care of the ball. Um, we take care of the ball in two weeks, we're going to win the game. Uh, we hit our, we, you know, I finish my runs. I run hard, uh, make people miss. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna win the game, but just just being that field general, just still commanding the offense the way I do, um, just building up confidence in the locker room, but just emphasizing taking care of the ball, moving the ball, running the ball, and stopping the run. But that's that's we do that, we're gonna win the game. But for me, uh just just getting getting in the film, um, getting the game playing down and just taking care of the ball. You know, we take care of the ball in two weeks, we're gonna win. Thanks. Hey Tyre, Ken McMillan from the record. How you doing, sir? Good. Uh, Ty, uh, that throw to Isaiah Austin, it's like the buzz of the internet. Uh, can you talk about what Isaiah was able to do on that play? Yeah, sir. So, uh, you know, we had a single receiver out call. Um, if you just get the ball in, in Isaiah's vicinity, he's going to catch it. Like, it wasn't a perfect ball by any means, and it wasn't a bad ball, but you get it in his vicinity, he's going to catch it. I think the DB had his other arm, put his other arm up, came down with it. Uh, we got the flag, too. Um, so it would have been a first down regardless, but he made a play. And, he, and believe it or not, he does that every single day in practice. Like, when we throw one-on-ones, he's making a one-handed catch. He's on the highlight tape the next day, but that's just who he is. You know, he he has one of some of the best hands, uh, some some good routes. Uh, he's just he a good dude on and off the field, but he's just a playmaker. That's that's the best way I can describe him. Sure. Uh, Ty, you uh, have to make a lot of decisions uh, when you run the ball, and it, most of it's in close quarters. But what was it like to get out into the open field today um it feels it feels good uh you know you all you guys know i take a lot of hits so it feels good to get in space to try to make people miss sometimes but you know i don't i don't mind it when you run in between the tackles you know you, you gotta you gotta lower your shoulders sometimes that's when you know the weight room comes in um pretty strong for my size i would say so i mean i i do take a lot of hits but you know it, it's it doesn't really um kind of affect me but it felt it always feels good getting out in open space and just just opening up the shot a little bit what was it like not to get touched on that 27 yarder and have you had a prettier play this year um this year mm, no I don't think so um no nah, I don't think I had a had one that wide open I was a replay um, I read sometimes you don't believe how wide open it was. Um, it took the dive and then hit the hole. It was a great it was blocked up great by the slot backs, the offensive line, but it, um, it was a replay. They gave me the read I wanted, got downhill. And it was sometimes you just don't believe how wide open it is, but it, but it was there. Bryson Daly scored on the same exact play later on in the game. So. Yeah. Ty, uh, you got 12 touchdowns this year, 24 for your career. I know you do, you don't like to talk about yourself, but that puts you up in some pretty elite company here as an army quarterback. What do you think about being able to put up numbers for your team like that? Um, it's, it's an honor. Uh, I always, I, I always tell people that being a, being an army football quarterback is one of the biggest honors, biggest, um, biggest privileges that I've, I've had. Um, you know, and I always say, like, it's not – I'm not playing just for me. I'm playing for, like, that legacy. You know, I've talked to my Bradshaw often. Um, I talk to A.J. Sure often. Me and Kevin Hopkins are like this. So, um, you know, it's it's a legacy. You know, Jabari Laws is my best friend. Christian Anderson, those are all guys that are, you know, going to be at my wedding and lifelong friends. So, it's it's – it's it's a legacy and it's and you're playing, you don't want to let those guys down, all the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears they put in. So it's it's definitely an honor to uh to be in that category and just to represent a lot of great men. Sure. Last thing, what does it say about the way Army played the last two weeks, especially heading into Navy? Um it's 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 good uh momentum. Uh it's it's really good momentum, really good for morale. Um morale was never really down despite the season uh, that we had. Uh, everybody always came to work, everybody always, you know, gave their all. 
but it's 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 good. Um, it's good. Like, like I mentioned before, we got a lot to clean up, a lot to fix. But um, this next one, this next one is big, and and, and we gotta get to work, and it starts now. Thanks, T. Thanks, T. You're good. <laughs> so much better I can say when to <laughs> Okay, we're just waiting for the Army coach Jeff Munkin. Sure, from Army quarterback Tyler Tyler. Three touchdowns on the day. I believe 101 yards and uh, strong effort. Four first, four first half touchdowns. Gave Army uh, six substantially going into the half. And uh, good to see Bryson Daly get that touchdown on 54 yards in the last series. Uh, he's expected to uh, start at the top of the depth chart for quarterback position this year. So I'll give him some confidence. Just waiting for Coach Munkin. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Yes. They're out there. Can you see them? Make your way to um, West One. The girls are getting ready to. Huh? Yeah, um, Beth's gonna go get the car. So I think I think they're about re- they're gonna bring it around. Yeah. Okay. We ready to go? Go ahead, Ken. Coach uh, uh, Ken Kreitzer, Ken Best Media. Congratulations, strong effort. Uh, I, I went back to what Connor Bishop said during the week that if you play well today, that's the best way to prepare for Navy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I wanted us to play our our best. I don't know that we played the best we're capable of playing today, but I thought our guys played hard and certainly at times played very well. Um, there are still things that, that I, I, if we don't play perfect, I'm, 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 I'm really quick to, to kind of find those things that weren't perfect and, and agonize over them and, and perseverate over the things we could have done. But um, the goal line stand by our defense again, it was a really nice job again you know, last week. Did that twice. Uh, great catch by Isaiah. Um, well, we got the ball. We got the ball going there in, in the second part of the first quarter. And we went three and out. But then you know, all the way through the first half, I thought we moved the ball really well. I was disappointed to see us have to punt three times coming out of halftime. That was a little bit disappointing. But we were able to put some points on the board. and. And uh, and just keep them at bay enough that we were we were able to finish the game. Biggest concern, as we kind of took control of the game, was keeping those guys healthy. You know, only having two weeks to get ready for the biggest game this, the, of the year, and uh, um, just making sure we kept those guys healthy. We have a few guys go out, so hopefully we'll get those guys back this week and get them ready. Yeah, you got uh, four turnovers today, uh, two fumbles, and then two interceptions, and. But Breeze Boyne uh, really got help set up that uh, drive that led to Jacoby Buchanan's uh, touchdown the first quarter to tie it up. Uh, I, I, I continue to say that the biggest factor in winning a game is winning the turnover battle. That really helps you win a football game. When you, when you win a turnover battle four to nothing, it's hard to lose the game. I, I, it's happened in college football, but it's really hard to do. So I was uh, I was happy that we got those. and. It was great to see a guy like Jaden Mays get one freshman and DeAndre Tobias second week in a row that he's gotten an interception, really nice leaping interception, but creating those fumbles and uh, Fabrice and that guy just, man, he's done so much for us. I know special teams now playing a bunch of snaps on defense this year. and Nice to see him making some plays for us. Your defense uh, generated two uh, consecutive three and outs and uh, led to uh Hey, your Tyler, 27 yard touchdown run, going four uh, plays, going 70, uh, 72 yards, I think it was. And then uh, Dean will do it again very quickly. Tyler getting another four year, yard touchdown uh, run. And then a third, three touchdowns in the quarter for Tyler. 
Uh, how did you feel about what got the offense going? Um, I just we just blocked them up better. I mean, it, it, the, like I said, the first drive going three and out that was disappointing, but we just we just blocked them better. And uh, Tyre made a nice throw to, to Josh Lingenfelter. It was a big play, and then uh, ran the midline play and 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 scored as you said from twenty seven yards out. You know, those are two big plays on a drive, and and uh, those. If you can hit a chunk play that that takes up a good portion of the drive, the, the yards you need to gain to score, I think that too, you know, is a factor in 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 winning, but certainly in scoring on that drive. It, it's hard to go seventy five yards and go fifteen plays, you know, three or four yards a pop. It's just really hard to do that. Um, to sustain the blocks, to not make a mistake, to to not have a, a critical error that gets you in a negative yardage play and and uh, you know, put you put you off schedule for us. So hitting a chunk play was big, and and uh, we hit two of them on that on that drive. So uh, each time we were able to come over to the sideline and get together, our coaches were able to kind of draw up the things that we were seeing, and we were seeing multiple looks, um, and they they may start configured. Uh, you know, structured a certain way on defense, and then and then move guys. When we move, sometimes they moved. Sometimes they walk guys up late. Uh, so we had you know, different calls and different things we wanted to do to the to the various looks, and we started to get those right. And then in the second half, we struggled, and uh, you know we we didn't we didn't sustain the blocks. And it doesn't matter what offense you run; you got to block people and keep them blocked. And we didn't do that as well to start the second half, but um, I was I was glad we were able to finish like we did with some of those young guys getting in the game and you know, Bryson Daly having a nice long run again, and that's a guy that's going to play a lot of football for us in the future. So good to see him get some confidence and have a run like that. How did you feel your defensive line played today? After the first drive, they really started putting pressure on UMass, uh, creating the three and outs and punts. That led to uh, opportunities for the offense. I thought Chris Gray had a, had a number of plays today. It was frustrating to watch them run the ball like they did against us. And uh, talking to Coach Woody, they 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 were utilizing a run scheme that they that they hadn't done a lot of. Um, so limited preparation on that it wasn't a major part of of uh, of their their scheme. Um, but they obviously saw something and and felt like that would work against us and it did uh we didn't you know fit it like we needed to and we were able to get the guys together and settle them down and get them to fit the run better uh even in the second drive they they had some success again we were just able to keep them out of the end zone after that so uh, you know that, that's obviously something we got to fix thanks coach yep go ahead on Zoom. hey coach monken joe icono with go black um Markel Johnson got a decent number of carries at fullback today, had some big runs. Uh, can you talk about what he adds to the B-back position and what makes him unique at that position a little bit? He's obviously built different than those those other guys, not as big. Um, quick feet, slasher. He, he was a slot back for us. We moved him. Uh, Coach Davis made that change in the spring, and I thought it was a good move. It, it uh, I wasn't sure at first if it, if it would fit him. But he he does a good job and and uh, he did have some good runs and uh, he runs hard, uh, just a a little different style of runner, and uh, and it's you know it's effective. It's it uh, every everybody's got to run the same plays. We can't run different plays with him and the other guys. It just I think just he's got a a certain style and Jacoby's got a certain style and Tyson's got a certain style and and hopefully you know all of them will work in, in the scheme of what we're doing. And, and he did a good job today. And uh, my final question, Coach Munkin, is, uh, you know, we had Jaden Mays in here earlier with his first career interception as a plebe. Um, talk a little bit about him. It's the first a lot of us have gotten a chance to see him play. He's played some special teams for us this year, and we think he's one of a few guys. There's there's some there's some good corners in that in that freshman class. So Jabril Williams, who blocked the punt last week, is one of those freshman corners, um, Justin Weaver, who made the trip with us. Uh, he's one of those freshman corners, and you know we really like that group of guys. So, um, Jaden, uh, Jaden had a that was a big play, and uh, you know had a chance to be in the game, and 
and we had some some guys out with some injuries and he made the most of it so it was, it was a really good play and and uh excited for him in the future and just just what that does for his confidence hey jeff ken mcmillan from the record congratulations on the win uh jacoby's looking better and better running and blocking what do you think i think he's uh i think he's looking better um no, he's he's been banged up since oh I guess the Villanova game, and uh, no, he just hasn't looked like himself. You look him look at him run the first couple of games and and look at him you know as he's gone through the season, he's he's not he's not quite the same, but he is he is still um, just playing really hard, giving his very best effort, and. Uh, you no, know, he's still a load to tackle. Two hundred and eighty pounds is that's a lot of fullback to tackle. Tyre Tyler looked very good today, especially in close quarters. What do you think? Thought he did a good job. Uh, did a nice job reading the midline, and that was the, the play he scored on from from you know twenty five yards out or so. Uh, had an errant pitch, you know, going toward their bench. I think we were going from as we were viewing it from left to right. Uh, and pitched off the wrong guy. We ended up with a negative yardage play. That was probably that was probably his biggest error of the day today. Uh, made a really nice throw to to Lingen Felter on that that play action pass. So I thought he did some really good things. And he's he's I mean, just such a competitive guy when he's in there. He plays so hard. And um, that, that, I thought he I thought he did a good job. He, he had a good game. We pulled him out of there, obviously get some of those other guys in there. That was great. We were able to play four quarterbacks today. And in summation, you've had two strong wins here. How does that play into your next game? How do you feel about the way the team is playing right now? I thought we did some good things the last two weeks. There's still some things that we need to do better. Um, and, and as I was telling Ken, just, you know, I, I, I'm probably to a fault critical of the things that we don't do well. Um, but there's been a lot of good things, and you know, it's it's nice to win these two games. We 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 really needed to win these two games. You know, there's been some games along the way this year that they they still I still lose sleep over them, and games that we could have won. And but there's games I've coached ten years ago that I still lose sleep over. So uh, what's new? But it's just that's just the way it is. I think competitive competitive people are that way and and uh so we we were glad to get the wins um just the confidence and the excitement of being in a locker room after a victory and and going into this game in two weeks and there's not a bigger game on our schedule ever any season than the one coming up and as you go along through the season the next game is the most important game it is the next game is always the biggest game of the year it's the only one you can play that week, but there, this 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 game looms for 365 days. It is it is part of the it's part of the DNA of of this program, this institution is to to beat Navy, and so it's a big game, and we've got a lot of work to do, a lot of improvements we need to make, and we're going to need to play really really well. These are always hard fought battles, two teams that desperately want to win. Um, and you know, it's nice to win a couple of games, but what we did against UConn and what we did today against UMass has no bearing on how we'll play in two weeks as a game all its own. And so we've got to execute at a really high level and play really hard. Um, and and play assignment sound football not make mistakes that uh, that that we can control uh, that have nothing to do with the opponent and and give ourselves the best chance to win so there's no game like it our kids are excited i'm excited but we got a lot of work to do in the next couple of weeks thanks jeff coach uh, seth mendelson black knight nation uh you mentioned before uh, something about some injuries and uh uh, just a question of how severe anybody anything anything severe in terms of the injury um, from this game? I wouldn't tell you if there was Seth, but you're nice to ask. I'll, I'll let them know you're concerned. 
Uh, no, nothing. Uh, I didn't see anybody come off. Uh, you know, I've watched it on TV, but no, nah, guys just kind of limped off and hobbled off and stuff like that. So, um, but, uh, hopefully, hopefully everybody's going to be all right. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Thanks, everyone. See you guys. Be Navy. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks for sure. making the trip. Sure. I was hoping you had a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Absolutely. You too. Come on, Mom.